All right, February 13th, 2019. Uh, a good trading day today. Um, a lot of learning moments because I had four trades. I'm going to show you all four trades and show you what I learned from them. And if you're a new day trader, that's why I make these videos. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll definitely answer you because um, I am a relatively new day trader and I'm doing it full time now. So um, I'm learning as I go. And I have uh, basically a strategy that I, that I use that I think new day traders... Um, works works well for new day traders uh, because of the low risk and the kind of strategy I look, the kind of uh, uh, patterns that I look for so um, so first right off the bat I'll show you the first trade which was the only losing trade I had today well actually it was the only trade that actually came back and hit my stop um, and that was uh, new star energy so I can see now, and this, is, this is one of the things about, you always have to reflect on what you did at the end of the day, because you can look back and say, oh, I missed this trade here, or oh, I got in here, but that was stupid. And you, Sometimes you can't see it when it's happening, but you see it later on in retrospect. So, um, so yeah, so I got into this trade uh, right here. You can see my marker here, Interact Brokers Trader Workstation, is um, gives you this marker when you get in. And I got in long here, and that was just the end of it, because you can see right away, boom, bottomed out, and then I went down the rest of the day. Now, why did I get in? Well, that's a good question. So there's a little dotted line here, if you could see it. It's kind of faded. That was yesterday's close. So I like the fact that the stock was moving up pretty strong in the beginning of the day. There's a little pullback here, and then it broke up again. That's when I took notice, because um, it was making new highs. I said, all right, it's above yesterday's close. Uh, but what had happened was it had gapped down. Let me tighten this up. It had gapped down uh, today. See a big red bar from yesterday, and it opened here. So it gapped down, and I thought, oh, you know, it's making new highs. It might recover enough to to make it back to yesterday's high, which was all the way up here around 27.41. Uh, so I said, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll give it a give it a try because it had volume. It's picking up volume here. Uh, but then you can see what happened. So it's just a bad trade. Now, what, looking back on it, I can see it's a bad trade because even though you know it had this little pullback in this this uh, jump here, these are sloppy. They, these are not clean bars. They're varying sizes. There's wicks all over the place. It's just not a smooth, smooth trade um, or a smooth moving stock. So it was just it was too risky to get in here. It had moved too wet, far away from. Uh, see, oh yeah, that's the other reason. It had gotten above the 10 EMA here, so I thought, oh, I could use that as support, but it just broke that right away and then used it as the resistance the, all the, the whole way down. So I should probably just have res reversed my position here at 26.77, could have put my stop at 87, and it went all the way down to 52, so I could have had like a 25 cent um, drop on this one. But, uh, you know, obviously I got out and that was the end of it. So it was a bad trade. Now, another trade that I made that ended up being um, a uh, kind of a, a just a dead one, Yum C. So this showed up, again, I'll show you yesterday's. Um, this is You should always look at the, da uh, the daily candles. Uh, so it had a big tail up yesterday, right? Which meant sellers ended up kind of winning because the buyers brought it up and sellers came all the way back down with it. Um, so and it opened low here. It opened it gapped down here today. You see it closed there and then opened down here. Uh, so what happened was it tried to make its way back up with the five the first five minute candle brought it way back up and I said, Alright, it's below view app here. I got in right here, you can see this as a short. And right away it went down a little. I was like, Oh, this is good. Then I came back up and I started using I used view app the entire way until about here I got above view app but it was just you can see these candles are sloppy too. A lot of tails, not a, not a, really any recognizable patterns. But I figured right here, because it had VWAP above it, and it was breaking below this 200 moving average on a five minute chart, maybe that would, you know, coax it downward. And it didn't. It just went sideways the entire way. So I got out at 4101. I think I got in at 4097. So a four cent loss, which is really not not bad at all. I never came back and hit my, where my stop was, which was like 41, I think, oh, it was right around here, 4108, so less than a 10 cents, um, so never really hit that, but uh, I got out basically flat, um, and I, one of the reasons here is you can see I got in 
right about here, and it was the ten EMA was moving down. I fi figured it might follow that the entire way down, and then it just kind of went sideways. So, um, basically, was just hoping on that one, and that was that was dumb. But a couple of trades that did end up working out for me. I'll show you uh, Oak. Now this one showed up in my um, Gappers list. Now you can see why. Let's show you here. Uh, so what happened? This was yesterday, right? And look what happened. Gapped up today. Opened here and we just shot up. Right to start, right? Big, big, big gap and a big move upward. Um, and I think that was on news. Um, uh, uh, some sort of, I don't know what the news was. Oh, now there's an investigation. Huh. This just popped up after hours. Um, oh yeah, Brookfield was going to buy most of Oak Tree. Um, so there was a basically a news there was basically a news driven sock and um that's what that's what busted it up today so see this one big candle boom up and then it just went sideways the rest of the day so i'll tighten this up because this this kind of um this one big candle kind of screws with your um with your chart when it you know because it has to s zoom out basically in order to fill it in there so so i was watching this all day and uh, after that big jump up, it kind of went down and rested on view app. So I was watching it and I had an alert like right above here, right about like 4904. If it broke above that, because that meant it was going to break through resistance. And I got in right here, 4914. That was late in the day. It was like 1 o'clock. 4914 got in and it went up a little, all the way up to 28. I wanted to get up to, my goal was for it to get up to about 40, uh, where was I looking? About 44 ish area. Um, based on what I was risking, I was hoping that it would just kind of skyrocket a little bit. Never did that. Came back down, and then the rest of the day it just kind of meandered about here. And eventually, I got out here at about 49.21. Uh, I think I got in at 49.14. So only seven cent gain. Uh, made up for the the loss, <laughs> the Yum C loss, basically, or not the Yum C, the other loss that was uh, an S loss. So uh, covered um, covered that up and. Uh, I was basically even after this trade, um, but I had another trade that was going on, so that's what made me positive for today. I didn't show you that. So basically, this was just a news-driven stock, and I, I was just watching for that move up, and I thought after this it would kind of continue upward, and it just never did. Um, so I got a little bit of a gain out of that, but my winning trade, my big trade for the day, was a short. And you can see here, uh, this is uh, Amphistar Pharmaceuticals. This was also in a my gappers list. So you can see why. This was yesterday. Look at this big gap down today. Started at about 2150-ish and dropped um, today. So I was watching this after the gap, and it moved down to start of the day. Came back to view app. I think this also showed up. This might have showed up in my um, bouncing view app scan, which looks for stocks that are down on the day and then coming back through view app. It might have showed up right around here, because you can see how it came up. Um, and then kind of settled on view app what i liked was at this you can see this 10 ema on a 15 minute candle chart the stock was down and then it came back to the 10 ema and look what happened that big topping tail there buyers tried to bring it above the 10 ema and then it came back and settled right below it and then it followed the 10 ema all the way right so i got in right about i got in right about here because it was it kept that 10 ema as resistance right couldn't get above it so I got in right here, which was at 210, and I was like, I was just, I was just hoping that this would continue downward for the rest of the day because it had, you know, it had moved down big time um, from yesterday, big gap down, and then it had um, started to move down below view app. I got in just when it tipped below view app, but then it came back up a little bit. I put my stop about 41, I think it was like 41.22, and I got in at about. Uh, See when did I get in? When I say 40, 21, 22. I got in around twenty one o three, I think. Um, yeah, twenty one o three, and I put my stop at twenty one twenty. I think it was twenty one twenty actually. So seventeen cents basically buffer, and I wanted it to drop um, down to about this range, which it which it did, and you can see what happened. I got I got a nice little drop here. Kind of went sideways for a little, and then all of a sudden at three o five, boom, big drop, and as soon as that happened. I moved my stop up. So my stop was around 2117-ish or so, and I moved it to just below VWAP um, so that if it ended up coming right back, I would have gotten out 
basically at where I got in for flat, but it didn't. It kept going down and it hit my first target, which was around 2170, what was that? 2175. I got out all of my shares at 2175, which I could have held on for some because look at all, it went all the way down to about 20, went below 2150. Um, so it was over a 50 cent drop from where I got in, which was great, but I got out at 25, uh, uh, 75. Um, so uh, like a 20, 28 cent gain, basically, um, which is good. That gave me made me positive for the day with the other stocks. So I had one winning trade in this trade, a couple of push trades, and one losing trade. And this this was the one that actually made me positive for the day. Um, so yeah, I was basically just watching this, thinking, okay, this this is the this is where the 15, the bigger candle charts made a, made the difference. Topping tail couldn't get above it, and then it just went sideways while moving downward with that 10 EMA above it as um, resistance and I just I got in right here thinking maybe it'll drop a little and I got a nice little big I got a nice big drop here and that was it came back a little bit but then kind of settled right where I actually exited anyway um, so yeah those were my trades for today Amphistar Pharmaceuticals was the big winner um, so yeah th that's another thing for new day traders you want to look at those stocks that have a reason for moving because you're more likely to um, you know, one way or the other, you're going to get something happening that day. You see a drop this big, something's going to happen, right? So, you know, it, it showed that it was, had a proclivity for going to the, to the downside early in the day, tried to make it back up, failed, went back down again. Um, so yeah, um, that was, that was it for today. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. Hopefully I'll see you back tomorrow, Thursday, uh, for another good trading day. Uh, good luck and, uh, see you then.